right, let's get to this breaking news right now. A crash on I-85 causing big problems for commuters all morning long. Early this morning, a tractor trailer crashed, shutting down northbound lanes there. Debris from that crash even spilling into southbound lanes. This happened right near exit 23 near McAdenville. NBC Charles Ruby Durham is live on the scene right now. Ruby, now we've just learned this is going to be closed longer than we first thought. Yes, North Carolina Highway Patrol says this could be an active scene until 9 o'clock this morning just because they're waiting on crews to get here to clear off of the debris off of the southbound side right here on I-85. But right now, I can tell you they just towed away the truck on the northbound side, but that those lanes are still blocked. I'm not seeing any movement at this time. But let me tell you, take a look at the video. This all happened around 3.30 this morning when police say the tractor trailer was heading northbound when it jackknifed and collided with the concrete barrier pushing it into the southbound lanes which is why you're seeing debris splattered on the southbound side which caused a lane closure here we're told because of this another vehicle three to be exact in the southbound lanes collided with the barrier wall debris again this all happened at 3:30 this morning but listen to what north carolina highway patrol says why this is still going to be an active scene throughout the morning uh, inside lanes north and south they're going to be closed probably for another two or three hours they have crews coming from as far as Burlington um, to, that are going to have to work to get this uh, wall, I guess, piece back together. Again, the southbound lane right here is still moving at a very slow pace, so you need to try to avoid this area. Let's head over to Rachel Roller in the traffic center. Rachel, how can people avoid this area, both now northbound and southbound? Ruby, thank you. This is a bit of a nightmare for our Gaston County commuters, unfortunately. So, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but take a look. 85 at exit 23, which is the Lowell McAdamville exit. Both ways is really going to be a headache. All northbound lanes closed. So, that's where you're seeing the purple line under this graphic here. One southbound lane closed. Take a look, though. This backup has extended now from four miles to six miles on Interstate 85, really slowing things down. And we're also starting to see similar slowdowns on your alternate, which is Wilkinson Boulevard. Six miles an hour on Wilkinson. Wilkinson northbound. It hops up to 30 and then goes back down to 19. It is just going to be slow going from Gaston County to Charlotte this morning. Ben. Rachel.